Let's learn how to solve error failed to fetch archives of Raspberry Pi OS. When we update and upgrade Raspberry Pi packages, this issue occurs with many users. I will first show you how the Raspberry Pi update and upgrade error looks like and then I will show you a proper solution. So let me run a command sudo apt-get update to download the latest Raspberry Pi software packages. Let me hit enter and everything goes smooth. But as soon as I run the upgrade command sudo apt hyphen get upgrade to install the latest updated software packages let me hit enter for the upgrade command now it asks us to press y so let me type y and hit enter so that it will continue and you can see now the error shows up right you can see the error number shows up so this could be anything uh, the number may vary but this basically tells us that raspberry pi upgrade command is not properly working and this happens because our raspberry pi when it try to connect to internet through ipv6 internet router then this comes there are two three ways you can fix this error i would show you the easiest way uh, the first way you can do that is by changing the router settings but i never recommend people to tamper the internet router otherwise you may lose your internet connectivity okay it requires some level of experience and the trick that I'm going to show you is something that we have to do the settings on our Raspberry Pi. So to fix this issue, let me first run a clear command. So let me type clear and hit enter. Then I have to do some changes into the Raspberry Pi settings. Okay, so I have to type a command sudo nano slash etc slash apt slash sources and i will hit tab button so it will take the sources dot list and hit enter and as you can see when we try to update and upgrade our raspberry pi softwares it try to fetch the packages from this url okay so this is the default url and because i am using the raspberry pi os bullseye version i have to change this url from where our raspberry pi is trying to fetch the raspberry pi latest software packages and to get this url we have to visit a web page let me show you so we have to come to this url that says raspbian.org slash raspbian mirrors so we have all the raspberry pi operating system mirror images here okay so there are a lot of lists here but the one that i found is most stable is from europe and especially united kingdom and from the sargasso networks so here is the URL that I would like to copy. So let me select the URL. Either you can select and then right click and copy. Okay. Otherwise, you can just select right click this Raspbian Mirror UK Sargasso.net slash Raspbian. So let me right click and let me copy the link here. And then let me go to my sources.list file here. Let me click here into the file and then I will take the right arrow key from my keyboard and uh, let me just delete only this part of this line so once I delete this line then I will paste by just simply right click on the mouse and this will paste the sargasso.net uh, URL that we copy from the Raspbian mirror images okay so this is the change that we have to do now if you want to get this URL, then you can check the video description. Otherwise, you can just visit the web page and then copy this URL. So once we replace the URL, then we have to save the file. Hold control button, press O and then hit enter to save the file. You can see it shows here wrote three lines. That means the three line that we have changed. I mean, only one line that we have changed, but the changes have been saved. So let me hold control and press X to come out of the file. And now when I run this command sudo apt hyphen get update and hit enter. So as you can see the update is happening. And now the update is done. Let's run another command sudo apt hyphen get upgrade and hit enter. And now it asks us do you want to continue? press y on keyboard and hit enter so it will continue so now as you can see there is no error shows up here and now our raspberry pi os is successfully upgrading so it will take a couple of minutes so basically upgrade takes a little bit of time 
As you can see now we have successfully upgraded our Raspberry Pi without any error or warning or anything. Let me run the clear command again because we have done with update and upgrade command running successfully. Let me hit clear. There are two more commands we must consider running before we finish this update and upgrade process and that commands are sudo apt update. So this is just a normal apt packages that what we are using and then we are just updating. So sudo apt update and hit enter and this will tell us all the details that we are looking for and as you can see it says clearly all packages are up to date okay now the next command we have to run is sudo apt upgrade okay so either you run this command sudo apt upgrade okay and hit enter so this is the one command and you can see it says zero upgraded zero newly installed and zero remove and zero upgraded that means it is already upgraded all the latest software packages of raspberry pi os is already installed on our raspberry pi now one more command if you want to make sure on the next level whether update and upgrade is fully done it's not really required but you can just run sudo apt full hyphen upgrade and hit enter and this will do the full upgrade and as i said you know it's already updated and upgraded successfully okay now any software you try to install on your raspberry pi will successfully install okay because many times many software you may not able to install especially the high-end softwares if your raspberry pi is not successfully update and upgrade so once you do this process once you update and upgrade your raspberry pi successfully without any error warning or anything then your raspberry pi will work smoothly in the future okay but this is the process you only need to do only and only in case if you face any error if you enjoy this video then do not forget to check our other raspberry pi 4 related videos on our channel and also check the description section for useful links and resources and i'm sure you will enjoy it thank you very much for your time and we'll see us into the next video lesson bye bye for now